Hey guys, as you can see, today we're going to be doing something different. Gary Bear Fitness is doing a collab with Mental Fitness and we're going to bring you something special. We're going to teach you how to properly do one exercise that will help you get a big and bulky chest. I know most of you guys want those nice pecs, but you need to know how to do the exercises correctly first. You don't want to be that guy who walks into a gym, picks up the heaviest weights and just starts swinging around. You're going to look like a fool. Plus, there's so many chest options that you can choose from. There's the flies, there's the dips, there's like a thousand different options. But today we're going to teach you the one and the only bench press. The bench press is a compound exercise which means that doing this exercise will work multiple muscles at once. So it saves you time and helps you build those pecs faster. How much do you even bench bro? This is the stereotypical question that almost everyone gets asked when they step foot in the gym. But I don't really think that's the point of benching. For me, benching is something that helps you build your muscles and your confidence. But you gotta do it correctly and safely. You cannot just let ego get in the way and do it wrong and hurt yourself. You need to take the time and first learn how to do the bench press. That way you can have nice big pecs. This is why Gary Bear Fitness is here today and we'll be explaining how to do the bench press safely and efficiently so you can get the most out of your chest workout. If you didn't know, Gary Bear Fitness is a certified personal trainer with years of experience in his gym. If you haven't seen his Instagram photos, he looks pretty solid and chiseled. Alright, take it over Garrett. Form is key when conducting a pressing lift with your chest. Due to the fact that you can put a lot of stress onto the rotator cuffs and elbow tendons, it is important how you position your body. The first step will be to find placement on the bench. Make sure where you're angled is where you want to be because once that barbell is off it's time to get to work. The second step is hand placement. Everyone's shoulder range of motion and width of chest is different. Don't listen to others telling you how wide to go all the time. Find what is comfortable for you. This is where you will be holding the bar the entire set, so make sure you practice hand and body placement with no weights before weighting the bar. The third step will be finding arm alignment to the body. When moving the bar off the rack, make sure you have a good drive. Drive will be how much force you are picking the weight up off of the rack at a standstill into action. A weak drive can result in a bad first rep and possibly no rep at all. When pressing the weight, be sure to keep arms tucked at a 45 degree angle. Too far out from the body and you not only risk losing strength and momentum, but you risk damaging your shoulder joints. And too close to the body, it becomes a tricep focused workout. The final step here is step 4. Last but not least, be sure to focus on pushing with your chest. Never strain squeezing the bar with your hands and never try to lift your body in an arch off of the bench to get the weight up. That is a great way to herniate your spine and this is a chest developing workout. Key note here guys, progressive overload training will produce the most growth from lifts such as the bench press. Progressive overloading is increasing small weight increments over a period of time on a specific exercise. Alright guys, here are the four steps again. Number one, find your placement on the bench. You gotta make sure that you're physically and mentally ready to do a rep. Number two, find a comfortable hand placement. This also means having a closed grip, not an open grip, a closed grip which means your thumb is under the bar with your grip. Number three, make sure your arm is aligned to the body and that your arms are tucked at a 45 degree angle. And finally, number four, push with your chest. Not with your back, not with your butt, but with your darn chest. Like Garrett said, this is a chest exercise, not one where you want to use anything else. All right, thank you guys for watching. And if you enjoyed, please give it a thumbs up, share, and subscribe. We have links to both our channels in the description below. At Mental Fitness, we do animated book summaries and animated fitness tips. At Gerber Fitness, he provides knowledge on physical fitness through his experience as a personal trainer and in life. Thank you.